Marcus Jonesy. Questions and comments, the Honourable Member for London Fanshawe. I, uh, I find it very difficult within this, this context that the member has put forward um, to, to take it seriously, considering the fact that I've just gone on to Hansard. I did a quick search of our current assistant speaker, um, the, the member for uh, West Nova. And he has said so many things that are partisan as well. I could list them off. Uh, he criticizes the Liberals consistently. He was an opposition member. Excuse me? Um, and yet that seems to have no play in this place. There are rules that we have had throughout our careers in this place. The member herself was in the government side. She is no longer. Our rules change. I believe that her argument against the current speaker in the context that she was using it throughout her speech is poor. I would like to hear her response to that, considering we all have those roles, they change over time, and this could be said about the current assistant speaker, it could be said about you, Madam Speaker, now. This is all applicable. The Honourable Member for Calgary knows Hill. One, to quote Kui is the most, it is the most obvious logical fallacy in debate. You did it too. Except if the member was going to be, if she was going to take this logical fallacy to the end, she should have raised a point of privilege on any of those matters she just raised, and she won't. Why? Because they don't constitute the level of partisanship that the Speaker has been found guilty of. She knows in her heart, she knows that this man should not be Speaker. I encourage her to go to her House leader and say, come on, this is the third time. Why are you mo voting to make me prop up a guy that spoke against a woman who was elbowed in the chest by the Prime Minister? Thank you.